Internet manipulation refers to media manipulation on the Internet. Such manipulation may be conducted for purposes of propaganda, discreditation, harming corporate or political competitors, improving personal or brand reputation, or plain trolling, among other things. To accomplish these objectives, online influencers, hired professionals and or software miners typically internet bots such as social bots, vote bots and click bots minus may be used. Cognitive hacking refers to a cyber attack that aims to change users' perceptions and corresponding behaviors. Internet manipulation is sometimes also used to describe selective internet censorship or violations of net neutrality. Topic issues High arousal emotion virality – It has been found that content that evokes high arousal emotions e.g. or, anger or anxiety is more viral and that this also hold when surprisingness, interestingness, or usefulness is taken into consideration. Simplicity over complexity, providing and perpetuating simple explanations for complex circumstances may be used for online manipulation. Often such are easier to believe, come in advance of any adequate investigations and have a higher virality than any complex, nuanced explanations and information, see also, low information rationality, peer influence, prior collective ratings of an web content influences one's own perception of it. In 2015 it was shown that the perceived beauty of a piece of artwork in an online context varies with external influence as Confederate ratings were manipulated by opinion and credibility for participants of an experiment who were asked to evaluate a piece of artwork. Furthermore, on Reddit it has been found that content that initially gets a few down or upvotes often continues going negative, or vice versa. This is referred to as bandwagon, snowball voting by Reddit users and administrators. Filter bubbles, echo chambers and filter bubbles might be created by website administrators or moderators locking out people with altering viewpoints or by establishing certain rules or by the typical member viewpoints of online sub communities or internet tribes confirmation bias and manipulated prevalence fake news does not need to be read but has an effect in quantity and emotional effect by its headlines and sound bites alone specific points views issues and people's apparent prevalence can be amplified stimulated or simulated see also mere exposure effect information timeliness and uncorrectability clarifications conspiracy busting and fake news exposure often come late when the damage is already done and or do not reach the bulk of the audience of the associated misinformation psychological targeting social media activity activities and other data can be used to analyze the personality of people and predict their behavior and preferences. Dr. Mitchell Kaczynski developed such a procedure. Such can be used for media or information tailored to a person's psyche e.g. via Facebook. According to reports such may have played an integral part in Donald Trump's win. See also, targeted advertising, personalized marketing. Topic. Algorithms, echo chambers and polarization The proliferation of online sources represents a vector leading to an increase in media pluralism but algorithms used by social networking platforms and search engines to provide users with a personalized experience based on their individual preferences represent a challenge to pluralism, restricting exposure to differing viewpoints and news feed. This is commonly referred to as echo chambers and filter bubbles With the help of algorithms filter bubbles influence users choices and perception of reality by giving the impression that a particular point of view or representation is widely shared 
Following the 2016 referendum of membership of the European Union in the United Kingdom and the United States presidential elections, this gained attention as many individuals confessed their surprise at results that seemed very distant from their expectations. The range of pluralism is influenced by the personalized individualization of the services and the way it diminishes choice. Research on echo chambers from Flaxman, Goal, and Rao, Pariser, and Gromping suggests that use of social media and search engines tends to increase ideological distance among individuals. Comparisons between online and offline segregation have indicated how segregation tends to be higher in face to face interactions with neighbors, co-workers, or family members, and reviews of existing research have indicated how available empirical evidence does not support the most pessimistic views about polarization. A study conducted by researchers from Facebook and the University of Michigan, for example, has suggested that individuals' own choices drive algorithmic filtering, limiting exposure to a range of content. While algorithms may not be causing polarization, they could amplify it, representing a significant component of the new information landscape. Topic: <laughs> Research and use by intelligence and military agencies. The Joint Threat Research Intelligence Group Unit of the Government Communications Headquarters GCHQ, the British Intelligence Agency was revealed as part of the global surveillance disclosures in documents leaked by the former National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden and its mission scope includes using dirty tricks to destroy, deny, degrade, and disrupt enemies. Core tactics include injecting false material onto the Internet in order to destroy the reputation of targets and manipulating online discourse and activism for which methods such as posting material to the Internet and falsely attributing it to someone else, pretending to be a victim of the target individual whose reputation is intended to be destroyed and posting negative information on various forums may be used, known as effects operations. The work of JTRIG had become a major part of GCHQ's operations by 2010. The unit's online propaganda efforts, named online covet action, utilize mass messaging and the pushing of stories via the medium of Twitter, Flickr, Facebook and YouTube. Online, false flag, operations are also used by JTRIG against targets. JTRIG have also changed photographs on social media sites, as well as emailing and texting colleagues and neighbors with unsavory information about the targeted individual. In June 2015, NSA files published by Glenn Greenwald revealed new details about JTRIG's work at covertly manipulating online communities. The disclosures also revealed the technique of credential harvesting, in which journalists could be used to disseminate information and identify non British journalists who, once manipulated, could give information to the intended target of a secret campaign, perhaps providing access during an interview. It is unknown whether the journalists would be aware that they were being manipulated. Furthermore, Russia is frequently accused of financing trolls to post pro Russian opinions across the Internet. The Internet Research Agency has become known for employing hundreds of Russians to post propaganda online under fake identities in order to create the illusion of massive support. 
In 2016 Russia was accused of sophisticated propaganda campaigns to spread fake news with the goal of punishing Democrat Hillary Clinton and helping Republican Donald Trump during the 2016 presidential election as well as undermining faith in American democracy. In a 2017 report Facebook publicly stated that its site has been exploited by governments for the manipulation of public opinion in other countries, including including during the presidential elections in the U.S. and France. It identified three main components involved in an information operations campaign, targeted data collection, content creation and false amplification and includes stealing and exposing information that's not public, spreading stories, false or real, to third parties through fake accounts, and fake accounts being coordinated to manipulate political discussion, such as amplifying some voices while repressing others. topic in politics In 2016 Andres Sepulveda disclosed that he manipulated public opinion to rig elections in Latin America According to him with a budget of $600,000 he led a team of hackers that stole campaign strategies, manipulated social media to create false waves of enthusiasm and derision, and installed spyware in opposition offices to help Enrique Peña Nieto, a right-of-center candidate, win the election. In the run-up to India's 2014 elections, both the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP and the Congress Party were were accused of hiring political trolls to talk favorably about them on blogs and social media. The Chinese government is also believed to run a so called 50 cent army, a reference to how much they are said to pay, and the Internet Water Army to reinforce favorable opinion towards it and the Communist Party of China CCP as well as to suppress dissent in December 2014 the Ukrainian Information Ministry was launched to counter Russian propaganda with one of its first tasks being the creation of social media accounts also known as the I army and amassing friends posing as residents of eastern Ukraine Twitter suspended a number of bot accounts that appeared to be spreading pro Saudi Arabian tweets about the disappearance of Saudi dissident journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Topic: <laughs> In business and marketing. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Trolling and other applications. In April 2009, Internet Trolls of 4chan voted Christopher Poole, founder of the site, as the world's most influential person of 2008 with 16,794,368 votes by an open Internet poll conducted by Time magazine. The results were questioned even before the poll completed, as automated voting programs and manual ballot stuffing were used to influence the vote. 4chan's interference with the vote seemed increasingly likely, when it was found that reading the first letter of the first 21 candidates in the poll spelled out a phrase containing two 4chan memes, "'Marble Cake", also, the game. Jokesters and politically oriented hacktivists may share sophisticated knowledge of how to manipulate the web and social media. Topic: Countermeasures. In Wired it was noted that nation-state rules such as compulsory registration and threats of punishment are not adequate measures to combat the problem of online bots, to guard against the issue of prior ratings influencing perception several websites such as Reddit have taken steps such as hiding the vote count for a specified time, some other potential measures under discussion are flagging posts for being likely satire or false. 
For instance in December 2016 Facebook announced that disputed articles will be marked with the help of users and outside fact checkers. The company seeks ways to identify information operations and fake accounts and suspended 30,000 accounts before the presidential election in France in a strike against information operations. Inventor of the World Wide Web Tim Berners Lee considers putting few companies in charge of deciding what is or isn't true a risky proposition and states that openness can make the web more truthful. As an example he points to Wikipedia which, while not being perfect, allows anyone to edit with the key to its success being not just the technology but the governance of the site minus its coordination of countless volunteers and ways of determining what is or isn't true. Furthermore, various kinds of software may be used to combat this problem such as fake checking software or voluntary browser extensions that store every website one reads or use the browsing history to deliver fake revelations to those who read a fake story after some kind of consensus was found on the falsehood of a story. Furthermore, Daniel Suarez asks society to value critical analytic thinking and suggests education reforms such as the introduction of formal logic as a discipline in schools and training in media literacy and objective evaluation. Topic. Research German Chancellor Angela Merkel has issued the Bundestag to deal with the possibilities of political manipulation by social bots or fake news. Topic. See also Topic. Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work. Licensed under CC by SA 3.0 Ego License Statement, World Trends in Freedom of Expression and Media Development Global Report 2017-2018, 202, University of Oxford, UNESCO to learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, adding open license text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. <laughs> <laughs> 